Hello there, this is Shao, and welcome to another episode of Vox FX. <laughs> Today, I'll show you how to pitch shift a vocal and use that to create the Queen Chrysalis voice. For those who are new, please go check out my tutorial on making a sound voice-like. And remember, if you're lost, check the tutorial archive. So let's get started. Pitch shifting. As I mentioned before, a sound's pitch is how low or high the note is. For example, this saw wave has a much lower pitch than this saw wave. But watch the spectrum analyzer as I increase the pitch of the saw wave. All the frequencies that make up the saw wave moved in unison. As one increased, the others did too. Now this saw wave is generated by a synthesizer, but the same idea applies to recorded audio too. As you increase the pitch of the audio, all the frequencies in the audio increase by the same amount. Let me show you with this recorded piano note. As I pitched up the audio sample, the other frequencies moved in tandem. But you may have started to notice that the higher notes didn't sound as piano-like anymore. It started to sound weird and distorted. This is more noticeable with a vocal sample. House music. 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 As you can hear, as I play the sample at different pitches, it starts to distort the voice. It gets slower or faster, and it sounds bassier or more squeaky. These distortions are what happens when you change the pitch of a recording that has formants. Like I said in the last video, the relationship between the formants affects how we perceive a sound. Pitch shifting moves all the frequencies up or down by the same amount. Because of this, these formant relationships get squashed or stretched, which distorts the audio. Indeed, this squashing is what creates the chipmunk vocal effect. All you have to do is take your vocal sample, house music, and pitch it up a lot. House music. But you also notice that the higher pitch sample got faster. This can cause a problem if you want to pitch shift while still keeping to a beat. Thankfully, most DAWs let you pitch shift an audio sample without changing its speed. In FL Studio, that's as simple as turning the pitch shift knob on the vocal sample. House music. House music. House music. House music. House music. This effect, pitch shifting without changing speed, opens up a whole host of possibilities, including today's vocal effect, the Queen Chrysalis voice. If you don't know who Queen Chrysalis is, check out the link in the description. For everyone else, here's an audio sample. <laughs> right, you are, princess. And as queen of the changelings, it is up to me to find food for my subjects. I put the example in here because it's always a good idea to have a reference for your vocal effects. Now, to make the best Chrysalis voice, you need to be Kathleen Barr, the voice actress who played Chrysalis. Failing that, any competent voice actress will do. I have neither of those, so I'm going to be using this sample of the great and powerful Trixie. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. And I'm going to prove it. Also voiced by Kathleen Barr. So once you have your vocal recorded, copy and paste two extra copies of the recording. And make sure that they're all playing on separate mixer tracks. And that, the, and that your DAW is treating them each as unique samples. I had to make them unique and change the mixer track for mine. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. They're just really loud now. There's, they're identical so that they're going to just combine together. Next, pitch shift down each of the copies without altering their speed, leaving the first one intact. The second one should be shifted down about twice as far as the first. I usually like to go with minus 70 cents and minus 140 cents, respectively. There we go. Feel free to fiddle with these numbers. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. 
Last, turn down the volume of the copies. As you heard in the original sample, To find food for my subjects. Equestria has more love than... The effect is fairly subtle, so the copies don't need to be too loud. So let's just turn them down. Like that. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. And, and there you have it. The Queen Chrysalis voice. This effect is the foundation for many other character voices, so don't be afraid to experiment. Though I will say to be careful with more extreme pitch changes, as they can make the vocal hard to understand. Let me demonstrate. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. Especially if they're all the same volume. You and I have some unfinished business. My magic's gotten better since I was here last. So yeah, don't go too hard. Anyway, that's about it for this tutorial. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about pitch shifting vocals, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And as always, if you'd like to request a FoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. Next time, I'll be demonstrating manual pitch correction with new tone or melodyne. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. Fox FX.